All right, welcome to the next part of the action plan. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure we set up our website to be professional and so that we're not getting disapprovals when we're submitting our website to certain traffic sources as well. We want to start building authority with this blog and this website. So I'm going to show you a few key steps and a few key plugins that you need to install on your WordPress setup so we can start looking like a real website and the traffic sources won't ban us. And at the same time, we will start be, we'll be, we'll be able to start adding content on our blog if we choose to do so. So let's just go ahead and publish this landing page we created here, Powerhouse Affiliate Review. I'm just gonna capitalize this. Now when you're setting up your titles here on your WordPress blog, make sure that you use keywords that you've researched that you think Google would um, rank if people are searching them. This is key if you're gonna start doing search engine optimization for your website. All of your titles should be um, keywords that you think people would start searching. So Powerhouse Affiliate Review is a great keyword because when people are buying Powerhouse Affiliate, they might wanna review it first and do some research. If you have a website that is titled Powerhouse Affiliate Review, is Powerhouse Affiliate worth buying or whatever it is that you wanna put in these keywords, then you have a chance of ranking in, in Google and showing your website to people who are just about to buy the product, giving you a better chance of making money online as well. So I'll just put this here as the title. And there are many other key strategies in search engine optimization that you can check out in our free training at powerhouseaffiliate.com. But let's just save this for now and click publish. And now that page is published. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add some plugins into WordPress to also help us with not only search engine optimization, but security as well as professionalism when we're building our website, okay? So to do that, let's go over to plugins now and let's click on installed plugins just to see what's already in there automatically when you actually um, install. You'll see that there's some here already in here. There are all of our optimized press stuff is in there now because we added it. Another one that I would recommend is check out Rank Math or the other one is called Yoast. Yoast is a is one that I've started using as well. Both of them are free. All of these plugins are going to be free, by the way. Yoast or Rank Math is perfect for search engine optimization. It allows you to optimize your posts when you're writing them so that it recommends what are the best strategies for search engine optimization if that is your strategy to get free traffic from Google and um, other search engines, okay? So I would install that. Another one here is called WordFence Security. Again, another free one. You can see you can also upgrade a premium if you want later on. If you get start getting more traffic and more, uh, more attention to your website, you might wanna upgrade for more security, but I'm happy with the free version of WordFence Security. Um, the other one you'll want is Google Analytics. You might want to use the actual official Google Analytics. This one's made by Monster Insights. Um, so it's, it's a third party. I would go with the direct Google Analytics plugin. So to, to add plugins, if you're wondering how to do that, you simply go up here, you can click Add New, and you can either upload or you can search plugins, okay? So if you already have plugins like we did earlier with Optimized Press, you can upload it. But over here, if you want, you can just search analytics. So this one here is an important one for you. You should set up your Google Analytics account. It's free as well and it allows you to actually um, track all of the people coming on to your website, okay? Uh, in the later parts of this action plan, I'm gonna show you some more advanced strategies on how to track your affiliate campaigns, but bare minimum, you need to have Google Analytics, okay? So you wanna make sure you find the one by Google Analytics, and that is now called, um, yeah, Site Kit by Google. This is the one you'll want. It's uh, only four stars, but I would still use it because it's the official Google um, plugin. So you can bet that the security is a lot better than some of these third party ones, okay? So Site Kit by Google, I would add, it can track all of your AdSense earnings later on, um, stuff we also talk about inside our training, but uh, that is a great plugin to do. Now, the last one that I haven't installed yet that I highly recommend, it's called Really Simple SSL. And what is this? what this will do is help as well in terms of your rankings, but it'll also secure your website and people who like uh, to buy things online always wanna make sure you wanna see this little see this little lock up here in the top left. Well, that shows that it's a secure website. So if you install this, it helps easily make sure all of the pages on your website have SSL. 
making sure that it looks secure and people are happy and they trust your website okay so definitely activate this one and once you've activated it you're going to go in and and activate the ssl and i'll show you how to do that here shortly okay so now here is where it says um it's been installed so now go ahead and activate ssl and what it's going to do it's going to change all of the things in the behind the scenes to https okay so now every time somebody comes to your website it's automatically going to send them to the https version of it if that doesn't mean anything to you uh, it doesn't matter just trust me this is a good thing to do on your website now it's all secure and you'll now start seeing this uh green lock up here saying that your site is um, now secure okay so that is another one so basically those are the main plugins i would do now when we're getting into approving our website on places like bing ads or microsoft ads or facebook ads or google you're going to want to make sure you have a lot of great content on your website first i've done videos of this on the day job hacks youtube channel if you want to check that out but basically you want to make sure you have the bare minimum of legal pages so if you come into your all pages here and go to um this section here you're going to see that when you install wordpress through bluehost that you've automatically got a the privacy policy here okay it's in draft mode so what you'll do is you'll edit this you want to make sure that your privacy policy is active because when you submit ads to certain traffic platforms they're going to check to make sure you have a privacy policy now the best thing about this is they've already installed a somewhat of a template and from my experience this template is enough to to basically um, not get you banned. Um, but again, things change constantly, so make sure you read the terms, and if you have to update your privacy policy, then, then do so, okay? There's tons of templates online. So come in here, our website address is, and you're gonna put your affiliate marketing game or whatever website domain you have here. Affiliate marketing game, whoops, game.com, and then you're gonna come down and you're just gonna make sure it makes sense and there's a few sections at the bottom here, your contact information. You can put your contact information such as uh, uh, you can do a, a, a contact form. Okay, so there's a plugin for that, which is Contact 7. It's a plugin. I would install that. And then you would have a link here to your contact form. Or you can just literally delete all of this. But I would recommend you at least put some contact information in there, even if it's uh, support at affiliate marketing game and you have an email that's that okay or whatever your email is for uh, managing this website okay because they'll want to see that contact information and making sure that you make it possible for people to contact you should they uh, want to okay so you're going to publish this okay you're going to click publish and what's going to happen here is now it's going to be live so now the next key step is to make sure that this privacy policy is on all of your pages and there's a really easy way to do that when you're using wordpress okay and i'm going to show you how to do that now okay so as you can see now the page is published let's go check it out and see what it looks like here so here it is you can see now it's live this is our legal page now if you want to go one step further you can create another page called terms and conditions and you can search again on google for free terms and conditions for my website or go to shopify they have a great tool for free that you can create these terms and conditions these privacy policies contact pages all that stuff okay but anyway this is very important coming in here now let's go to our dashboard again and let's make sure that this page page shows up on our landing page and as well as all of our blog pages okay so to do that we're going to come back in here we are going to go down to appearance and then we're going to click on menus okay so this is the menu feature of wordpress it allows you to actually set up menus that will automatically show on certain places of your blog okay so as you can see right now this menu here has uh, this is menu one what i want to do is i want to call one the footer menu okay so oftentimes I'll call it footer legal. So this is my legal footer at the bottom. So I'm gonna remove this, these pages here and I just wanna leave my legal pages in there. Now if you had a contact page, you could add that in here as well, but they're already gonna be showing. It's gonna be pulled, all these pages are gonna be pulled from what pages you've already created up here, okay? So I'm gonna remove this one as well. And this is just to show you how to do it. And now if you want to add other pages, you can actually do that. You can add posts. You can come in here and you can click this little button here and add to menu. But I'm not going to do that yet. You can add a custom link to your menu. So if you want to do uh, something different, 
um, like a product or whatever, you can put that here and you can add that to your menu. And again, you can drag your pages or add your pages. But for now, let's just leave the privacy policy. Click create menu. And now you'll see that the menu is created. Now, one step on your landing pages with Optimize Press. Now, one thing that's gonna happen now is once you start going to your blog, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, all of your blog pages are gonna automatically have privacy policies. But when you're running Optimize Press 3 landing pages, you're gonna to have to manually add that into your pages. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's go back into that landing page we created for Powerhouse Affiliate Review. Let's click on Edit with Optimize Press. And let's go in and add and make sure that the menus are showing on this landing page so that when we submit it to a traffic source, they at least see our legal terms at the bottom. Okay, this is very important, like I said. You wanna make sure that the traffic sources see you as a real, legit website. Now, what I would also add at the, uh, once you've started to create content for this website and you're starting to build authority, you should then add in a link at the bottom in your in your menu for your blog, okay? So that the, the crawlers or the bots from these traffic sources crawl your, your landing page, they'll come down and they'll crawl the links at the bottom here including your blog to know that you're a legit website, you have content and that it's uh, something that they will allow on their traffic source. So let's add that menu down here at the bottom. Easily done, come in over here on the left side and find the one that says WordPress menu. So drag this over here and we're going to add that. Let's just do it maybe right here, okay? So now you can see it has the privacy policy. Now, if you want to, if you have multiple menus, you can click this and you can choose what menu you want. But for now, we only have one menu, so it's going to automatically pull that one. Click save again up here. And now when we preview this landing page, we should see the privacy policy on it at the bottom. So let's go and check it out. Let's go to preview. And now when we see this, you can see now that we change the title Powerhouse Affiliate Review. Is Powerhouse Affiliate worth buying? This is a great um, SEO title here. And we're going to change the text here to have all these keywords throughout the text so that Google uh, indexes us and, and sees us on their search engines. And now you can see we have the privacy policy. This is part of the terms um, on many traffic sources. And when you click on that, it's going to show people our privacy policy which is uh, in effect. Now, one last step. You're, you're gonna wanna set up your blog um, to start producing more content. And that is key. That, like we've created a landing page, but how do you actually get your landing page? You know, Do you want your landing page on the front page of your blog? Or like when people go to Affiliate Marketing Game, do you want that to be your landing page or do you want it to be your blog, okay? So we're gonna do that now. Um, under the Settings tab, go to Permalinks, and make sure that when you're in the permalinks section here that you have post name checked, okay? Many times the default setting is plain or one of these ones. Post name is going to help for your search engine optimization because when you change the title of your post, it's going to put that in the URL, which is key and it's automatic and it's so easy to do, okay? So do that and then come over to the reading settings, okay? This is where you're gonna set up what people see when they first arrive on your website. And what I've done here is I've select a static page. And when I select static page, then I can set this Powerhouse Affiliate Review as the home page for my website, okay? Or if you want, and you want it to be the blog, you can select your latest posts. Either way, it doesn't matter. As long as you use a static page, just make sure that on this page, you have the link in your menu at the bottom to your blog, okay? So for now, I'm gonna set it to latest post because I wanna show you how to implement a theme, a free theme for your affiliate marketing game or for whatever your blog you have. You wanna set up a theme so that you can start posting blog posts and getting more traffic, more content for your, for your audience, and in effect, getting more traffic. So to do that, come over to appearance and themes. And what we're gonna do is we're going to find a theme. Now you'll see there's some themes already installed when you use Bluehost, they'll have some already installed. They may be different, whatever ones that you see here. But if you wanna add a theme, you can, you can buy premium themes, but there are free themes available, okay? Let's close some of this stuff. So what you're gonna do here is click on wordpress.org themes. Now these ones will be mostly free. Now even though they are free, there may be some that are free and then if you want more features, maybe later on in the future you can pay. But some of them are absolutely free, okay? 
Now coming down, you'll see right now there's only a few, but they're gonna pre-populate. There's gonna be tons of them. There's like hundreds and there's popular, featured, latest. So let's just say I wanna do whatever, a new style. You can search for news, find a theme you want. You can search here for colors, for theme, like ideas, business style, pets, whatever your niche is, you can probably find a theme for it, okay? Let's just install this one just to be um, um, active in this video here so I'm not rambling on about stuff. And it's going to install the theme. Now you see it's installed. Now I want to do is uh, what I want to do is click activate. You can actually preview it before you before you install it, but I'm just going to do it now. So now it's going to activate the theme. Let me do that again. Okay, so now you can see the theme is active. Now if I want to check it out, since I've already set up the website to show the blog, let's just go visit site. Most of the time, it's not gonna look like the picture you've seen. It's just gonna look like a standard template, okay? Which is fine, because now we're gonna work with this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, now, the, the first steps you're gonna do here is you're gonna click on this Customize, and what you can do is you can start customizing this page right away using WordPress itself. So you can change the site identity, you can select your logo. So in this case, if you wanna add a logo, you select your logo and you can upload or you can just put it, let's just put a sample logo here. These ones, these pictures are already installed. Uh, most of them when you install it through, um, like I said, Bluehost or, or just manually installing WordPress, you're gonna have all these pictures anyway. So there you can see now the simple logo is there. And if I don't wanna show that, display title i can take that out and you'll see now my logo is there i click publish and now my simple logo shows at the top all of my pages would be here i can edit that if i want to not show those pages and then my latest posts now let's just go in and show you how to create a post quickly and that'll be the end of this video you'll be ready to start producing content and submitting your ad uh, your your website to actual traffic sources for what which is what we're going to talk about next, okay? So you can see here my privacy policy is up here. I can uh, change this menu if I want up here. In the menus feature that I showed you earlier, you can put your header menu. You can see which menu this is. Now let's just go to this Hello World post. This is the first post that's always on every WordPress. If I want to edit this post or create a new post, I can do that too. Um, so let's go to Dashboard just to show you exactly where you would go. You go to posts and you can either click on all posts and then you can edit the ones that are in there or you can create add new. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's just edit this one and I'm gonna show you the editor and how you would go about editing your post and then we'll, we'll end the video. Okay, so here we are inside the editor. So like I said, you wanna change your title here. Let's say you wanna say the top five affiliate marketing training programs. So you can start with a headline here. So let's just say uh, number one, powerhouse affiliate, okay? And now if you wanna turn that into a headline, click here, click heading, there you go. You can change this to a H1, H2, H3 if you want. And you can put review here if that's your keyword that you're, you're trying to rank for. And then you can come down here, you can start talking about, you know, this program, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna start typing out. But then you can go down, you can do number two, whatever. And you can again, change that to a heading and you're gonna constantly go through it, write a, a blog post and then once you're done, you click update. This is the uh, sample one. So the, if, if it was the a new one, you just click publish. And now you're going to have your blog post ready and live and you're, now you're ready to start building content building authority, and then submitting your website to traffic sources so that you can get approved. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. You can come in, edit your sidebar up in the widgets area, and you can add certain things over here. You can add advertisements, AdSense, a whole bunch of different things. Check out our training for more on how to go through and start really turning this into an authority site. And also check out the Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. There are specific videos on how to really beef up your website and turn it into an authority website, okay? Now, let's get into the next video where we talk about getting traffic.